This is Wax. Mahalo, you f***ing surfers, you goddamn nerds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're all part of the tribe. How are the brakes looking? Got some lefts and rights? Some green rooms? A-frames? A weekly surf talk radio show. Hopefully when you go out there, you'll find your green card and surf on the f***ing home. F***ing poser. With your host, Cyrus Satsas. <laughs> All I need some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Omar Echeverry. Vocals only, you f***ing grommet. Stay off my feet. And Natalie Rose with the news and weekend surf report. Surfing is out of this world. You just can't imagine the thrill of shooting the curl. Well, it positively surpasses every living emotion I've ever had. On ESPN 1700. Oh, <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, San Diego. Orange County, all of coastal Los Angeles, Santa Monica, Malibu, Ventura, everywhere that gets the ESPN 1700 signal. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever you want to call it, depending on what time you got up this morning. This is Waxed Surf Talk Radio here on ESPN 1700. We're really excited today. We have an in-studio guest, professional surfer Bree Kleintop. Is Kleintop how you pronounce your last name? That is. Excellent. All right, (laughs) so we have Bree Kleintop in studio with us today. We're going to cover a lot of aspects of especially your reality web show. It's called Surf House. Yep, and it's definitely going to be an interesting conversation. I hope so. <laughs> it makes good radio. Um, you know, I started getting into it, and if people want to watch the show, and again, it's like a, a reality TV show, kind of like, you know, old school, real world, whatever, you know, show you can think of that was on MTV or anything like that. I guess every channel has reality TV shows th- these days. I'm just dating myself. But, uh, yeah, it's like the drama aspect mixed in with some surfing. It's almost like the drama's first. And then let's throw some surfing in there. And then, like, let's throw a couple of waves in. Right, exactly. <laughs> Just to appease whoever. Like, afterthought. Yeah. yeah completely. And, and the show is, like, produced by Network A. So if you, if the easiest way to find this is just to go to Network A's uh, channel on YouTube. Yes. And then just find Surf House. I believe there's been five episodes so far. Every Monday there's a new episode. So we're going to get into that. Uh, we're going to cover the news, of course. We've got a surf report. Natalie Rose, good morning. How are you doing, girl? Good morning. Hey, Cyrus. Yes, ma'am. The studio is a little different today, don't you think? There's more women than men. Yeah, the estrogen is. A oh sh- snap! You guys have taken over because my co-host Omar Chaveri is not here today. He's always on the phone. He's in Santa Cruz. Oh, I see. So he's never in here, but he's on the phone he's or on, on the a, phone talking. Yeah, or on like a device. Um, yeah. Yeah, but today you guys, yeah, you guys can just completely destroy me in one second if you wanted to. Dominating. You would. This it's would exciting be- stuff. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be sadomasochism, <laughs> and I would obey. I would just sit there and take it. Um, and you'd like it. I would. Yeah, no question. Pain is fun. But uh, (laughs) we're going to have a great show. So why don't we take a quick break? Uh, Make sure you follow us, by the way, on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at Waxed Radio. Again, this at Waxed Radio to make sure to follow everything that's going on, what guests we're having on the show, uh, you know, who's on the schedule, some great news. And our website, of course, is WaxedRadio.com. We podcast every show on there. We have a great gallery. We have a Brie Kleintop gallery on our website as well. You do? Dude, you're Richter. Are you kidding me? Like, Wow. I got to check this out. You should. I mean, they're all pictures that you know about. They're like... You know, whether O'Neill took them or whether it's from your Instagram that we stole. So there's no surprises on there? Definitely shouldn't be. And okay, sh- sh- share in your Twitter <laughs> and your Instagram handles are both your name, Bree Kleintop, Bree correct? Bree Kleintop, exactly. Excellent. So, um, yeah, dude, you're on fire. Thank um, you. If, if people go to the website and check Bree Kleintop out, you will not be disappointed, I promise you that. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, so visit our website, waxedradio.com, and in just a moment we're going to have a surf report brought to you by yours truly, not me, but Natalie Rose. Uh, she's going to give you your weekend surf report here on Wax on ESPN 1700. Visit our website, waxedradio.com, to get complete show podcasts and follow us on all social media at Waxed Radio. Now, here's your weekend surf report. Yeah, there's been a lot of fun waves. I've been out of the water like almost every day this week. Just fun little waves. I mean, they're not huge, but there's more than enough to get the shortboard out. Is it continuing on this weekend? What's the surf report, Natalie? Well, like you said, there are like a lot of fun waves. It's not really big, but it's just super consistent. And I think it's kind of one of those things where it looks funner than it, like it doesn't look as good as it really is. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> anyways, right now we have a mixture of swells. We have including a northwest wind swell and a south-southwest southern hemi. This is leaving, like I said, fun waves all around the county. Most breaks are anywhere from 2 to 3 feet in range, knee to chest high. Um, right now, the water is super warm. We have anywhere from 65 to 67 degrees. It definitely is summer. The sun does not set until 8.01 this evening, so you have some time. Hey, now. But 
Let me tell you, the wind is supposed to pick up this afternoon and a high tide is supposed to fill in. So that could shut down many areas. So even if you have a bunch of quarters, the machine will not work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You could turn your mic up a little more too, by the way. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can, no. No? Keep going. How about now? Yes. Okay. Um, I could have heard you the whole time. I was just rolling with you. No, you're absolutely right. Dude, the tide has been insanely high when it gets up. It kind of mushes things out a little bit. But it's summer. The water's incredibly warm. If you're pretty much in Ventura South, you can get in without a wetsuit now. Uh, and there's waves. Yeah, I think that northwest windswell has been, like, most of what's been bringing in some of the fun. But, uh, yeah, some great waves out there. Uh, Brie Kleintop's in studio with us. You are you live in San Clemente. I do. Have you been surfing this week? Um, I actually have been out of the water for a couple of weeks now. Why? Because I broke my nose. So, oh, yeah. That it's sucks. It's definitely been sucky. And um, I'm just recovering right now. And training, just waiting to get back in the water. You don't look like you broke your nose at all. Well, no, thank not at all. You. I mean, I can't. I mean, that's just, that's news. Well, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. I appreciate it. But um, yeah, it it hasn't been a fun couple of weeks being out of the water. So I'm just mm-hmm. counting down the days. We'll, we'll get into how you broke your nose once we get into the interview. But uh, was there like were there signs that you got hit or that you broke it? I mean, you don't look like anything happened to you. That's crazy. Well, there was. Gushing blood, so okay. if that counts. That does count. That does count. Okay, so there's gushing hot. blood. Is it something about a hot chick just bloody? I don't Ugh. know, man. As long as it's know. not like, as long as it's not the result of a very negative thing happening. Yeah. You know, it's just like something just, uh, you know, like sur- like you were surfing when this happened, right? I was. There you go. See, that's awesome. Yeah. So at least there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Battle scars. <laughs> at least there's that. I love it. We'll get into it in just a moment. We're gonna have uh, Brie Klein top in for the whole show. We're gonna do a great interview with her, and then she's gonna stick around for the news. So uh, we'll take one last quick break, and then uh, we'll have a great, insightful interview with Bree Kleintop next year on Wax on ESPN 1700. Visit our website, waxradio.com, to get complete show podcasts. And follow us on all social media at Waxed Radio. Now, more Wax. Yeah, this is Waxed. Surf Talk Radio here on ESPN 1700. Bree Kleintop in studio with us. Hello. How you doing, girl? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great, thank you. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, your Twitter handle, your Instagram handle is your name, Bree Kleintop. Bree Kleintop. Your Simple. Instagram is huge. Right? I mean, I know you're big on both of them, but <laughs> your Instagram, you have like tens of thousands of followers, right? I definitely have a couple of followers. Luckily, <laughs> I don't know why they follow me, but hey, I'll take it. Well, I could take a pretty wild guess why. I don't know. On the I sk- don't know. Dude, you're, you are a Southern California 10, which is like a Bay Area 15, which is like a Tahoe 20, which is like a Seattle 30, which is a, I can go on and on. Whoa. Okay. You're, dude, you're, I'm liking it. Dude, I'm liking on, it. Dude, you're fuego. Thank you. And Cyrus just, is saying you have great assets. I have great assets. Yeah. Thank her, you. Her words are mine, but yes, I... You guys hundred, just keep making my day. Like, seriously. We're going to butter you up all day. Don't In worry about that. In all areas, too. <laughs> <laughs> Athletics and beauty. Well, you know, uh, I, I've, I, I've known about you for a while. A lot of it has to do with your modeling, and then, yeah. of course, you're also a pro surfer. But right. the modeling thing just really gets you out there, right? Because definitely, because to stick out as a surfer, you really have you have to be like a Chris Moore type to to oh, get your name out to there, just right? Be an absolute freak of nature, exactly. Yeah, and so definitely, especially in the girls' side of surfing now, marketing so huge, and being able to model for your sponsors, yes. and all that good stuff. So I've been lucky enough to. Be featured in marketing with O'Neill Girls and mm-hmm. now Dragon. Congrats! And, um, thank you. Dragon's so much. got and Dragon was just in the news. We actually talked about them last week because they're the first company. Blows my mind that it took this long for a company to do this to make floatable sunglasses. I know how cool is that. But why was this not happening twenty years ago? Don't ask <laughs> you know? me because I lost a pair of sunglasses the other day when I was in Palawan and I was just cursing. Dude, we all have them. I, yeah. Dude, for years I was buying cheap sunglasses just because I was sick and tired of losing like a hundred dollars into right? a lake or an ocean. So, uh, yeah, so dra- great sponsor there oh, to pick up. and their glasses are absolutely amazing. So, and we've been doing this really fun contest right now um, called the Miss Man's Field Search. So, girls, if you'd like to enter, all you have to do is tag your photos, Miss Man's Field Search, on Instagram. And um, they're going to pick 10 finalists and then have a vote on Facebook. And then one finalist will be chosen 
and they get to spend a day surfing and hanging out with myself and the rest of the dragon team and then they will be featured in a dragon ad in surfing wow. magazine with me so wow it's a it's a really fun contest so Please, girls, enter. Guys. And so the winner of this will, you'll be like a full on page spread in Surfing Magazine yep. with you? A full page dragon ad for the Mansfield sunglasses with myself. So In a skimpy bikini. I'm not sure about that. I, I'm, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm positive. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, well, you're, you're starring it, but one of the things that really caught my attention was you're starring in this web uh, series. Produced by the folks at Network A. I think the A stands for action, right? For action sports. I think so. Because all the all the videos they do and their YouTube channel is, is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, it's great. So you're so you're you're one of the four stars of this new reality show. It's called Surf House. Let's play a clip from that show. This kind of introduces who you are, okay. uh, at least from the show's perspective. Right. Natalie, fire away. I'm Bree Kleintop. I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'm a surfer, and I also model too, but. Surfing is what I do. Right now we are on the North Shore of Oahu. Um, I'm here surfing and training and here doing sponsor related stuff and seeing friends and just trying to get like improve my surfing and everything too and get ready for this coming year. It's definitely different over here just because it's such a small place. So when there is one thing going on, everyone comes together to that one thing. So it's like kind of crazy, you know, because everyone's there in one small place together. Some of the jobs that I've worked for modeling are, I've been working with O'Neill a lot lately. And I've also done a lot of other stuff like Journeys, Pac Sun, um, Cosmopolitan Magazine, Shape Magazine. I've done runway for an amazing designer, Randolph Duke, who designs these beautiful gowns for celebrities and everyone. So that was an honor to be part of his show. It's, it's been really, really fun. Honestly, I'm not really sure how to describe myself. Like, I'm just Brie. Like, I'm just who I am. Is that it? That's it? So that's, your, that's the introduction. That's my intro. So the, the show is Surf House. They've had five episodes so far. And we'll start the interview with that because for you're you're getting like a the, the you're generating a steady growing following with that show. Definitely, you know, like the viewer count is just starting to multiply, expand. Yeah, and uh, the comment section is funny. Do you ever do you ever read the comments? I do. Oh, you do. <laughs> That's dangerous. I honestly, I can't help myself just because some of them are so funny, and some of them are so horrible that I'm just like. Whoa, this is kind of awesome. Right. Even though they're like super mean sometimes. <laughs> Extremely mean. Yeah, but you know what? Everyone has their opinion, and so whatever, you know? I'll take the go with the bad. It doesn't phase you. It, you know, I am who I, who I am, and yeah. some people think one thing, some people think another thing, and they're allowed that, so I'm fine. I'm securing myself, so I think that's, good. that's all that matters. That is absolutely, dude, you're, you've nailed it on the head. Like, it's, I feel like anytime someone's spewing negativity like that, or you see actions that just don't make sense. It's because yeah, of insecurity. Exactly. It's, so, it's rampant in this world in general. People insecure with who they are instead of just being comfortable in their skin. Totally. And so you know, I'm not going to let them get to me. It's whatever. I just laugh it off. You know, it's that's like, great. it's just funny. That's great. And personally, like, I, I've never understood why people have to be anonymous when they, you know, dish out right? criticism. Why not just You're man like, up? Come on. Come yeah. out with it already. <laughs> Reveal yourself. You know, add some credibility and accountability yeah. to what you're saying instead of just being some coward, just hiding behind a handle totally. and then just being, just being a hater. <laughs> um, what are some of the nastiest things you've read that have, like... Ooh. Um, hmm. I'm not really sure. Just, you know, like, oh, these girls are stupid, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people, for some reason, like to compare me to Alana Blanchard, which I have no clue why because... Obviously, I'm not Alana, and I'm well, not trying to be her. I know, but you're, because you're both like just amazingly oh, hot. I mean, that's yeah, why. but it's like we're both completely different people. You know, right. she's absolutely amazing and gorgeous and stuff, and I'm myself. So that sometimes it's like, oh, why are you comparing us? You know, like let her be her amazing yeah. self and let me do my thing. So that's the only thing that sometimes is like, ugh. <laughs> Come on, don't try and compare me to her. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. It's not a bad person to be compared to, Oh, though, no, you know? I mean, God, it's a compliment, but it's like, I just, you know, don't want people to think that I'm trying to be her or something, because right. she's 
amazing. You know, you're your own person. Yeah, I'm me. And uh, but dude, you're both are just Richter. But uh, so Surf House, and again, the the show is is about it's almost like real world of surfing. Four, it is. There's four of you guys in one house. You're on the North Shore of Hawaii. This was taped during December when the Triple Crown was happening, yes. right? Yes. And so the four of you, Mitch Cruz is probably like the like the biggest name of the group. Yeah. Just because he's on the QS. He might be on the world he's, tour someday. He's doing really good. Yeah. He's an amazing surfer. He's from Australia. He's yeah. He's really funny. Exactly. He's got personality. Yeah. He has a great personality. And he's really good friends. I've, I've heard this. Uh, and I think he's roommates with Jack Freestone. Is that correct? Yeah. I, they're best friends. And um, I think they live together on the Gold Coast. So... They're both, you know. I can't. I know Freestone's with, speaking of Alana Blanchard. That's, with Alana, That's yeah. her boyfriend now. But I, when he was single, I can't imagine what those two were doing. Oh, I just, know, just, right? Just, just, just slaughtering the, oh, the masses. I mean, I'm sure. These are two incredibly good-looking dudes. Yeah. Pro surfers already are incredibly attractive to women. And they've got the person. I, mean, I can't even begin to imagine what those two are like at a party, at a, at a club, wherever they I are. I know, especially because <laughs> Mitch is so funny. That should so. be that should be a reality TV show. Just following those two around Just for like two months. Just those two around. But I know. Um, but go yeah. But I, that, that's for whatever. But <laughs> Surf House is it's Mitch Cruz. It's another it, Patrick Dunphy. Is that his name? Michael Dunphy. Michael Dunphy. Michael Dunphy. And he's from Virginia, like you are. He is. He's from the same town as me, which is kind of funny. Did you guys know each other? We did. Yeah, okay. I've known him for a long time. It's just, um, it's funny that we both come from the, you know, same little surf yeah. town and ended up on, Sorry. on a show in Hawaii. But um, yeah, he's a great surfer too and a great guy. And so, yeah, I mean, it was cool knowing him going into it. You know? And then and then Alicia is one of the two girls. I forgot her last name. Alicia Gonzalez. She's from the South Shore of Oahu. Okay. Like so, Jerry Lopez. Yeah. It's random, but it's, uh, yeah, the South Shore people every now and again pop up and, yeah, and rip. She surfs really good, and she's a sweet girl. Um, she surfs for Roxy. Okay. So, yeah, she was the other girl in the house. Yeah, exactly. And then there was, and then there was yourself. So there and was, then there was myself. And, there's, <laughs> and those are the four. How did they find you? How, how, like, how did you even get on the show? Did you chase, did you hear something and chase no, it? No. Like, um, the, so, okay, a couple years ago, they started interviewing a bunch of surfers to see about doing, you know, the reality surf TV show, and they're going to do and it. And who's with, they? Like who? Like who? Who? Who are these people? Um, Jamie Tierney, who was the filmer and the producer, on, right? And the producer okay. on the show started interviewing a couple years ago, and the CW Network was actually going to produce it but then that really yeah so this so, is going to be on network tv at first yeah at first okay. so then a couple of things happened and it went down the drain and then network a came along and picked it up and so you know he was really psyched because they're obviously an awesome network and um so then he contacted us who he had kind of chosen beforehand a couple years ago when we interviewed and was just like hey this is going to happen would you like to be a part of it with us and um so I was like, yeah, of course. I mean, it sounds great. The people on it seem cool. So I right. just went for it. And my sponsors were behind me and whatever I chose to do, which was, you know, really nice. And so I I went for it. So this was, <laughs> so this has been in the works for at least a year is kind of what you're saying? Um, not Close exactly. No? He contacted me um, a couple of months before we started filming in Hawaii. Okay. So, yeah. And and then so they finally get you guys together. We finally get together. And you had no hesitation to do this. Like you were in all I, the way. I did. I had a couple, you know, just because I'm exactly Sorry. sure what to expect. Uh-huh. But I mean, it was just it was a great opportunity. It seemed like it would be fun. So I was just like, yeah, why not? And, you know, O'Neill's been so supportive of me. And they're like, you know what, Bree, we support you in whatever you decide to do. Like, if you want to go for it, do it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. We'll see how it goes. Just do it. And I did it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and we're joined by Bree Kleintop uh, in studio here on Waxed. Uh, and her Twitter and her Instagram handles are her name, at Bree Kleintop. You can follow, kind of. And you can follow us on Twitter at Wax Radio. And we're talking about her uh, online uh, reality show, Surf House, which is part of the Network A channel on YouTube. And then so the, so you get these four together. You and Pat Patrick, my, you and Michael Dunphy. Yes. You, I don't like. I don't get the feeling that you guys knew each other at all before really? the show started. Well, you know? we didn't. I mean, 
it's not like we hung out or weren't great friends or anything, but right. obviously we knew each other and would see each other out surfing and everything like that. So, but we weren't close. Gotcha. But he yeah. doesn't, he doesn't seem like there's any drama around him at all. He seems like the most normal <laughs> yeah, guy know. ever. I know. He and, definitely does. And then, and then Mitch Cruz, you could tell that both the guys seem to be incredibly focused on their surfing. Oh yeah. Cause De- so far they're really focused on it. Yeah, exactly. Cause one of the episodes of the show, like, you know, focuses on how uh, you and Alicia go out partying every night. They're going to bed early every night. Is that real? Was that really no. happening, or did they spin it to make it look that way? They spun it to make it look that way because actually, it's really funny. Um, during that time, uh-huh. I was working and helping out on the Triple Crown. So doing, doing what? Like, how were you helping? Um, I was just kind of like helping the media on it, you know, produce the webcast and whatnot. So uh-huh. it was a great experience, and I had a lot of fun doing it. But every morning, I had to wake up at 5 a.m. to early. be there. So th- there was definitely why no they, why, going out partying. Why did they leave <laughs> that part of it out? Um, was it not interesting enough for them? Like, I'm not exactly sure. You know, it was me working and yeah. doing something, so they didn't film it that much just because... You know. That sucks. I mean, I think a lot of people... It, I think it would have been really cool to yeah, see just because, like, you know, it was producing the webcast. Exactly. And that's insane. That's really interesting to see. And I had a blast working on it right. with these, you know, amazing people that get the webcast out to every country. And so I think it definitely would have been cool to be included in the show, but it wasn't. I so. know. That's, cr- that's crazy. You're hearing about it now. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the, the mind of a producer. I mean, it's, I, yeah. you can't get into it. Each one's different. But, um, I know. Yeah, so they so they focus primarily on on yeah this the, how the guys and girls are pretty different. Exactly. They, a lot of the show early on was focusing on, and again, I don't know if this is true or not. Mm-hmm. If Alicia had this like huge crush on Mitch for like the oh, first yeah, three yeah. episodes, if not even yeah. more, and then finally like and then and Mitch Cruz is a funny guy, you could tell because he's he like definitely has a great personality. Yeah, he made it clear he's like I'm not dating a surfer. <laughs> yeah. He's like I see these girls all the time. Yeah. Why would I want to get into that kind of drama? It's comedy. And then the last episode or two is like, and again, you can explain whether this is true or not. They start focusing on your personal life. Oh, yeah. They, they, they mention how, like, you broke up with your boyfriend. Right. And that, without... I did break up with my boyfriend at that time, so I was going through that, you know. And... What, what happened? If you don't, like... um, I was dating a guy, and it just, honestly, it just weren't, wasn't working out. Mm-hmm. We just weren't in the same place, and I was just... Is he, was he a pro surfer? He was, yeah. And um, I was just... I just wasn't, I was just dead in the relationship. I hear so, you. you know, when that happens, I was just got to that point. And I was just like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's hard dating a pro surfer. I can imagine. It is. But so. then aren't you dating one now, though? I am, but he's, he, no, but <laughs> he's, different. he's different. He's absolutely amazing. Like, and, I'm so lucky. And so, and so the guy we're referring to is, a, is an incredibly talented surfer. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can, I can definitely see him on the ACB World Tour sooner than later. Yeah, he serves incredible. And that's Eric Geiselman. That's your boyfriend, right? right? But in, I think in the last episode, it, you kind of, <laughs> like, anyone who wants to watch the show can see how you and him kind of started. Is that right? Um. Hmm. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you're sending messages to him, like you know, Alicia's getting jealous. No, this wasn't Eric. This was his brother, because I was friends with his brother, and they totally blew it out of proportion. Why was Alicia pissed then? Because she had hooked up with him, and I. They get, didn't show. They just didn't want to show that on the show. Who knows? I don't know. Really? But if okay, so if you're watching the show, you see them kind of flirting, yes. and hanging out at the party, right? Yes. And I'm like. You know, I say in my interview, I'm all, obviously there's attraction there, you know? Yes, you do. Because they're asking me about them. Uh-huh. So um, they hooked up, and then... So this is the... Bro- I mean, his, bro- is his brother Evan? His brother's Evan. Okay. He's so- younger than Eric. Okay. And Eric's the one that's way better, though, right? Surfing-wise? Personally, I think Eric's a way better who's more? Surfer. Who's more accomplished? Um, like, who has a better chance of making the ACB World Tour? Well, I don't... I don't they're both She's amazing. She's kind of biased. I, I know. I'm totally biased. biased. I mean, the only thing is Evan's younger. Yeah. So. How much younger? He's five years younger. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he's a lot younger. How than old is Eric. Eric? Eric's 25. Okay. So right. Evan's a lot younger. Um, But so basically, Evan and I texted like a couple things back and forth. Just like he was asking what we were up to at the house. Yeah. And I told him, blah, blah, blah. And. 
they totally blew it out of proportion. And she got mad at me for texting back. And I was like, wait a minute, but he's my friend. Yeah. Why am I not allowed to text a friend back? And so. And it, this was, and again, this was Evan, not Eric. This was Evan, not Eric. So it was strictly platonic, but oh, but Alicia just blew it out of proportion. You're they, saying? And, and the show did. And the show did. Okay. You know, and I was just at that point, I was so overwhelmed with everything that was going on and just so over the drama that I was just like. Yeah, you packed ah, up. You packed, packed your clothes up. and you bailed. I did. That's and how the last show ends. Yeah, and I was, well, at that time, I was actually staying at the O'Neill girl's house. Okay. I just didn't have all my clothes, and um, I was on an O'Neill shoot that week, so I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to get myself and get out of here. I just need to focus on this, yeah. not worry about all this drama right now, and that's what I did, but definitely made for a good closer of the show, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Like, like I said, they're, <laughs> they, they're definitely making this way more about the drama, less about the oh, surfing. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we're, and we're joined by Brie Kleintop here in studio, star, and the show we're talking about is called Surf House. It's part of Network A. If you go to the YouTube channel, uh, you can just surf Surf House or Network A and find it there. Yeah. There's been five episodes so far. Um, yeah, and, and are, do, do you, are you getting paid for this? Like, how does that work? Um, well, I can't exactly talk about that. Well, you don't have to give us the numbers, but you're not, you can't tell me if you're actually getting a check. Um, are you getting are you getting royalties? Like, I mean, not really, because there's a contract. So I wish I could tell you guys, but I don't want to get in trouble. Well, if there's a, <laughs> if there's a contract, that means you're getting something. Otherwise, there'd be no point to having you sign anything, you know. So right, interesting. All right, but okay. So but but they they don't want you to talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just kind of you know the personal stuff between myself and the network. Okay. So I guess they. Rather keep it on the DL. <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently. So I'm not going to be the one to get in time out. <laughs> I, I, no, the last thing we want to do is get you in trouble, too. So, yeah. And Natalie, I, feel free to jump in any time, by the way. I know you're hiding back there somewhere. <laughs> no, yeah. I was wondering, is there anything on the show so far that, like, you they, they didn't show besides, I guess, you already told us about the Triple Crown, but something right. – that like they didn't show you wish they would have showed more of so far like- um honestly i just kind of wish that it was more surrounded about the surfing and the lifestyle of being on the north shore during those six weeks just because while you're over there it's so awesome and there's so many great things that you're doing you're surfing amazing waves every single day or you're going for hikes, or you know you're going to the waterfalls. There's just so many cool things, and I just wish that that was more of a part of the show. And what, what about you surfing? Like even at the like in the intro to the show when they introduce and they give you know they the open of the show they have each each person's name and they have a quick surf clip or whatever. Right. Yours is like the shortest surf clip ever. I know it's like a s- split second, and then that's it. Like there was I think one episode they showed you surfing a little bit. Yeah, there's literally. Not that much surfing besides the guys. And it was also hard just because I was working the Triple Crown. So gotcha. if they went to surf during the morning and film that morning, I couldn't be there. And then once I did get home and it was later afternoon, they'd be over filming. And I'd just be like, oh. okay, this is awesome. <laughs> so there, there is a moment in the day when they're done filming. Like they don't – it's not a 24-7. Um, it's not a 24-7 thing, you know, especially with surfing – um, and it's hard because the guys will surf different spots than us girls. So right, I don't know. It's a it's a tricky si- situation always filming the surfing. Yeah, definitely. As far as like the cameras go, like you and um, what's her name, Alicia, right? Yes. You guys are talking, and you they show like the house from the outside, and then they show kind of like. You know, like um, the writing or the captions down below, you know? Yeah. How come they don't go inside the house that much? Like, are, is there... I'm not sure, actually. Because hmm. they had cameras inside the house, so... Because, like, you could hear you guys talking and the I know, house, there's always, like, there was, like, no faces or, maybe, like, reactions. Maybe they're doing that to make it all cool effective. Maybe. I maybe. don't know. I don't know. It's funny. It's funny that you asked that because that is a good question. I'm not exactly sure. Good job, sure. Natalie. Well, I, I was just wondering because, like, applause. you know, you watch all I know, right? I, I always, like, anytime a guest says good question, I always give applause to whoever's yeah. doing the interview. Like, bravo. Like, the bravo. good question is, is worthy Encore. of applause. Yes, golf clap. Um, sorry, Natalie. I didn't mean to stop you there. No snaps. <laughs> <laughs> and we're joined by Bree Kleintop uh, here on Wax Radio in studio. Thank you very much for making the drive down from of San Clemente. Of course. Join us. So stoked to be in here. Likewise. We're really stoked to have you here. Uh, and now, 
you're from Virginia Beach. I am Virginia it, Beach, Virginia. It, it's a. It's not every day that the East Coast surfer gets this kind of recognition. Oh, totally. Unless not. you're Kelly Slater, right? I mean, I mean, unless you're a freak like Kelly Slater. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are more than you know. There's more than a handful of names that have come out of the East Coast. Definitely. But it's not the norm. But how did you like? How I guess let's start with you know when you grew up there. Like how okay. did you get into surfing? Like well, my dad was a professional surfer. Professional? How? Like he competed? Or? He competed. He wow. was sponsored, and then um, he started working in the <clears throat> surf industry. And he's still an amazing surfer to this day. So it was just kind of in my blood. And yeah. Then he had me out there at an early age. But it's funny. He would always take me out during nor'easters uh-huh. and whatnot. So I got super scared. I'd be like, Dad, why are you taking me out in like the gnarliest stuff that happens to the East Coast? And when you say northeast, you a say nor'easter. A nor'easter. A nor'easter. Is that like East Coast slang for northeast swell? Um, a nor'easter is just a kind it's like a like a big storm will come uh-huh. and then so swell right. and usually it's like really choppy out and big and then the wind will go offshore and it'll clean up but then it'll get like a little bit smaller uh-huh. so i would go out during the choppy part <laughs> 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 and let's just say when you're six years old that's not exactly fun no so yeah that kind of kept me off it for a few years and then my dad at the time worked for billabong and what did you do for him he was an East Coast rep okay, gotcha. for them. Is he still doing that? Um, he doesn't work with Bill Bong anymore. But uh, who, does he, who does he work with now? Now he is with Rusty. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So still in the industry. Yeah, <laughs> totally. That's crazy. So is how is your dad like a really young dad? You're what nineteen, right? I'm nineteen. Um, he is. He's not really young, but he's he's like like early fifties or something. He's fifty. Okay, right there. He's gonna hate me for telling everyone Why? that. Why? He's a guy, dude. He shouldn't I know. care. That's a chick thing. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. Okay. But um, he still absolutely rips. Nice. So it's really cool. And um, yeah, fifties and you're thirty five, so it's all good. Exactly right. True. Very yeah. true. He still he still has brown hair, so he's <laughs> set. He's good to go. And you're stoked because you're seeing your dad age wonderfully. You're like, yes. yes. How's mom doing? She's doing amazing, too. Oh, you're too. so, you're happy. Yeah, I am a happy girl. I am. Good genetics Great is a genetics. beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a lucky situation to be in. Beautiful. Um, so dad, so dad's a pro surfer. He would take you out. Dad's a pro surfer. He took me out, and then I kind of got off it because he kind of scared me, you and know? In Virginia Beach, like, I don't know much about that scene. So is is the water warm, like, during um, summer? During I mean, the summer, it's a bathtub. And then the, it is? It is. Okay. It's really warm. It's in the 70s. Wow. And then the fall, still nice. You can wear a spring suit. Winter's freezing. Yeah, it's like drastic, freezing. right? Freezing. It's, it's crazy. Like every season is so drastic. So, and then it doesn't warm up till about May. It starts to warm up again. Do people surf in the winter? They do. Wow, but it's like like it's, five millimeter at ugh. least, right? I mean, I mean, hood booties, yeah, gloves. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Like wow. I just. I don't know what's fun did you in that. did you go out? In I that did. Time? I had to. You know, when I yeah. lived there during the winter, I was like, "That's the only way that you're going to get to surf." So <laughs> <laughs> I was kissing the ground when I got to go to Hawaii during the winter times. Though starting at age twelve, oh, okay, I started doing that. So, so when you're when you're twelve, where does Dad take you in Hawaii? Um, we went to the North Shore. You did, yeah. So Damn. I've been going to the North Shore every winter since I was twelve. Wow. wow yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. And do you compete? I mean, do you go to I com- do. I've been competing since I was 12. Um, at the moment, since I broke my nose, I've kind of been taking a little break and recovering. And um, Talk about that, by the way. You, so you, we, something you mentioned that at the beginning of the show that you right. broke your nose. You've been out of the water for a couple of weeks. Yeah. How did you break your nose? Um, so I was actually in Virginia visiting my family. How often do you go out there? Um, not very often, which sad to say, yeah. but it's just hard to get over there. You it's know, far. it is it's it's not, across yeah. the country, it's and not, it's, it's not like you're going to Great Waves. <laughs> it's like basically, I'm just going to see my family. Right, right. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't moved out here yet for you. Well, they come and visit me a lot, okay. so that's why I don't go home too gotcha. often. Gotcha. But um, yeah. So I was out surfing in Virginia and. I know this isn't going to sound great, but this kook's longboard huh. hit me in the nose. And I was just like, oh, no. It doesn't sound great because it happens a lot. I mean. Yeah, it does. Was he wearing a leash? Yeah. Okay. But apparently he just did not have control of that thing. And, and I, I'm guessing you just finished riding a wave. Did I did. You, did you literally like just get, like pop it out of the water? I popped out and bam, uh, it hit me in the face. I was oh, just, my goodness. I just was like, oh, no. Blood not everywhere. My face. Blood everywhere. Like, like you just I'm got like, in a fight. No. Yeah. 
I looked like I had just gotten beat up. Like your boyfriend just beat you. He did. Eric, you son of a bitch. I know, right? Why are you so mean? God, why do you have to be so mean to me? What did I do to you? Don't be Rihanna. Right? (laughs) What is this? What is this? (laughs) I'm not that guy, Ruby. Oh, we're just teasing. Eric's a good guy, right? He is. Oh, okay, good. He would never. Luckily, he would never. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) The worst thing he would do is, like, tickle me. (laughs) Okay, please videotape that and then put it on your Instagram page. Yeah, totally. Okay. That's a video I truly want to see. Just for you. In a swimsuit, especially. Oh, God. Anyways, uh, so so this longboard flies out of nowhere, smacks in the face. What is what is the stupid owner of the longboard? This guy is just like, oh my god, this did not just happen, and I'm like, yeah, it kind of did, and I'm like about to pass out in the water. Luckily, he's a really nice guy. He helps me, gets me to the beach, gets me to. um, My mom was on the beach. Luckily, did she see what happens? Or she did. She was freaking out, of course, as any mother would do. Yeah, yeah, and um, so yeah, then I had to go to the hospital. And it was, it's just been a long couple of weeks being out of the water. What, 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 like, so you said, I think you told us off the air that she had stitches. Is that I right? I did. I had stitches because it also cut me. Where? Like, I don't, somehow on the inside of my nose. So they had to do just a couple of stitches on the oh. inside of my nose. I don't, it was pretty gnarly. That is pretty gnarly. It was pretty gnarly. And it's enough that we're like, you sh- they told you not to surf because you're Oh, gonna- yeah. Yeah, of definitely. the water going in there and all that. I haven't been able to surf, and they didn't, you know, they have to let it, the bone heal. So right. they don't want me taking any risk of getting hit again right, or right. something. So Understandable. I've been out of the water, and it's been hard, really yeah. hard. But um, I've just been training and staying in shape and getting ready for when I mm. can get in the water. And I think... July, I'm trying to do a surf trip to El Salvador mm. and get some good waves. And then if I can surf by U.S. Open, I am I think I'm going to be doing that contest. The one here in Huntington Beach? Yes. Like, that's like in a month, isn't it? Yeah. And it's always a end, little end of July? Is that when they do it? Like early August? Middle, or I think now it's kind of middle oh, of July. No. They moved it up earlier. So that's, oh, they did? Yeah. Okay. So that kind of sucks, actually, for me because I still have... A couple of more weeks of healing to oh, go. Oh, you're still you're not even close. I'm, I'm I still can't go in the water Dude, you yet. You look perfect. Really? I do can't not understand. God, you guys. I don't understand. Keep making my day. This is awesome. You deserve it. Thank you. Um, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's... I would never in a million years guess that you busted your nose. That's crazy. Mm, that's good to know. I'm glad Bravo. my face is enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your face is a money maker, dude. Make sure yes. that's yeah. Keep that going. <laughs> and we're joined by Bree Klein Top in studio here on Waxed Up. Uh, you can follow her on Twitter and Instagram by her name, at Brie Kleintop. Your official sponsor is O'Neill. You also have Dragon sponsoring you. Yes. Um, you know, when you're young, I-, I was reading your bio. The best bio about you is, is through your O'Neill page. Um, it kind of describes, like, you know, how you got into surfing and all that. One fascinating thing is that you're introduced at an early age to Lane Beachley, who's yes. one of the greatest female surfers ever. Oh, I think she's won gosh. the world title, like, seven times, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, um, she's amazing. Yes. Yeah, so what was her influence on you in These, surfing? Okay, so... As I said before, my dad was working for Billabong at the time, and we went on a Billabong tour up to New Jersey, and Lane Beachley and I think it was, yeah, Kiala Kenley were there. And so, you know, I'm this young Grom, and I'm just hanging out around them, like, all starry-eyed, like, oh my god, my favorite surfers ever, and here I am at the beach with them. And so Lane actually took me out on her shortboard, and kind of got me into short brain and taught me how. And from that day on, I was just hooked. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Right. And, you know, she was my favorite surfer. She was my idol. So to have her, you know, take the time and take me out into the water and teach me was just like, wow. Yeah, I can imagine. Like a life experience, like one of the best memories ever. So that was pretty awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Yeah. I mean, she's one of the greatest ever. I mean, she's know? amazing. You can make the argument she is the greatest ever, you know? I mean, yeah. it, she's she has more world titles than anyone else, so that's yeah, amazing. she's pretty it's awesome. A great way to start your surfing career. <laughs> yeah. How did you start surfing? I met Lainey Beachley, and she, taught, <laughs> right? you know, she was my coach. <laughs> she taught me how to ride a shortboard. And no big thing. <laughs> that's crazy. And you're currently now in San Clemente. 
Yes, and is, I love it. Which is an it's a it's a for me it's like a weird. I almost feel like there's too much surf there. As crazy as that sounds, there is. There's no such thing as too much. I know surf. there's never it's or too much dude. beer. Come on, uh, <laughs> like, the two oh, things. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. Now. It is hard to argue with that. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> but but it's just like it's that's all it is. The whole oh, town is it's, surfers. It's, it's a crazy. surf town, and yeah. that's why I absolutely love I it. Imagine. You know, because coming from Virginia Beach, as weird as it sounds, it's a surf town, and all the people down at the beach. The locals love to surf. And so when I found San Clemente that had that same feel as my East Coast home, I was just like, it holds a special place in my heart. And it's so rad getting to wake up every day and go surf my favorite wave lowers. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's just there's nothing like it. So I'm really lucky and yeah. stoked to be living there. I mean, to your lowers is like one of the best waves in the world. It is. And to have that right there, five minutes away from you, it's like, whoa. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Your boyfriend is Eric Geiselman, who's yes. from Florida. He's from Florida. Was that part of the reason why you dated him? Like, is there is there a small attraction to the East Coast aspect not, of it? I'm not going to lie. There's something about East Coast guys that's just different. Yes. They just have a certain thing about them, a certain kindness, hospitality, I've always southern said, hospitality. No, you're right. I've always said Californians, and I don't speak for all of them, but right. either close to the majority or the majority, shallow, self-absorbed, yeah. narcissistic. I don't know if it's like the sun just fries people <laughs> fries people's brains we out are. here <laughs> and just makes people not care about anything, you yeah, know? Like yeah, yeah. it's almost like people are just zombies out here and there's like they, they lack social skills, like they're just it's I don't know, there's something off. Yeah. About I mean, this and I'm born a race here, all right? Like right, and totally. I and I have always found myself um uh, being closer, you know, kind of like associating more with the East Coast attitude. Yeah. I respect it because you're honest. Yeah. I love it because you're not afraid of like of meeting new people. Oh yeah, of, we're very uh, open. Yeah, you're you're open minded, like new experience. Like if someone approaches you out of nowhere at a coffee shop or something like that, you don't look at them like they're a monster and you just want to oh, run no, away. No, not at all. <laughs> you know, like you're afraid. You're open. You're yeah. kind to them. I think that's also just the Southerners from yeah. the East Coast. They just have a certain Southern hospitality about them, and that's just the way that we've been raised. And yeah. obviously, there are shallow, ignorant people there too. Everywhere, yeah. You know, yes. but. I definitely think that there's some great people there, and there's great people out here. So yes. I was just lucky to find a guy that shared the same coast as me. And where is he now? He he lives in San Clemente, too. Uh-huh. He and his brother have a house there. But um, he's back in Florida right now. He actually just got in an accident, too. What? As well, yeah. What kind of accident? He was in Costa Rica on uh-huh. a surf trip, and he was doing a rodeo flip and missed the grab, and the tail of his board slingshot back into his eye. Uh, oh, Jesus. Yeah, so, like the nose of it? Like the nose of the board? No, the tail. So, Almost as bad. Yeah, not exactly. quite. Luckily, as bad, but yeah. it wasn't the nose because that would have been really yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So he broke his eye socket. Oh my oh god. My yeah. So that's he's been out of the water for a little while now too, and he's been recovering. So basically, we're just a good looking couple right now. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Well, you, regardless, you are. Yeah. Right he here. was like. Oh, babe, I was just doing it to make you feel better about yourself. <laughs> like, I just wanted to be on par with you. Yeah, and I was like, I wonder who would, like, if you would get stared at more going into rush on me, or I would get stared at more. Like, who's the more effed up one of us That's two, funny. I would say know? him. I mean, you, like I said, you can't tell <laughs> I know. All, but... Luckily, I think it's him. <laughs> and, and is he in Florida to kind of get tr- you know, to get the mom treatment, get taken yeah. care of? Yeah, okay. his mom's amazing. There and, you um, go. I was actually just in Florida with them kind of making sure that everything was all right with nice. him and yeah he's just finishing up his doctor's appointments down there then he'll be out here in a week or two beautiful yeah and we're joined by brie client top here in, i'm sorry natalie did you have a question no i was just like nice he's coming back but that's crazy that happened oh yeah, I both, know. Of you. both of us at the same time we're just the biggest klutz <laughs> ever like we're just a great pair like that is it um and your star of the of the online reality show surf house which is uh, yes. produced by network a uh, if you go to YouTube and just find Network A's channel, you can find Surf House there. Five episodes have been completed. Uh, I think you mentioned off the air that there's going to be eight of them total. Eight total. Um, I'm pretty sure at least. And there's new episodes every Monday. It's all about you guys on the on the North Shore of Oahu in mm-hmm. December during the Vance Triple Crown. Yes. Um, by the end of the show, I know you probably can't give away a lot. Oh, no, I can't give away stuff. That'll ruin it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got to keep the suspense going. But do you meet Eric by the end of the show? No. Oh, okay. No, so you're not going to see anything of Eric and I, which I right. hate to tell you that. But, yeah, I didn't meet him until – well, I'd known him, obviously, but we didn't start dating until January. 
Okay. Yeah. So. And does anybody in the house hook up with another person? Mm, no. Oh. I'll tell you that. Much. Okay. Actually, that's a, that's a bummer. Actually, hmm, that's. A little, are you saying like people that live in the house? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. There's definitely, as you can see, some flirting. Yeah, going yeah. On. There's a lot of flirting. So uh, you'll just have to stay tuned. How about right. this? How about this? If there's a, if there was an elephant in the room, mm-hmm. like a big, if you could see it, right? Like you know, like imaginary. Could you say yes? You know what I mean? Could you like? I have no idea what you mean. What are you talking you know about? Talking <laughs> about? I, I don't know. You I'm trying lost to get a way to say like yes to the question. Okay. You maybe, I mean? maybe not. That's all I'm going to give you. All right. Well, then stay tuned. Again, the, the show is Surf House. It's on Network A, which is a channel on YouTube. Entertaining show. Very. I mean, drama does attract people. You know, there's no of question course. about that. I mean, that's why we have so much reality television nowadays. <laughs> I know, right? It's pretty sad if you think about it. It does. But, uh, it just glues you to the screen, yeah. though, for some reason. Yeah, it's really it's crazy. It reflects society and, yeah. its, and its ails to such a uh, large degree. Um, and of course, your sponsors are O'Neill. Are you on the QS? Like, are you are you trying to get on the ESPY World Tour? Like, where are you competitively right now? Um, okay, so basically, what I've decided to do since I'm out of doing, you know, the kind of amateur and SSA and all that stuff, mm-hmm. I've decided to do select contests, and it's so hard to make tour Extremely nowadays. Hard. You know, and there yes. are so many amazing girl surfers, and there's only 17 on tour that. I I don't really think that that's I mean obviously that's always been my dream but in reality I don't think that's my route for myself and my career uh-huh. and so right now I'm just doing select contests because you know competing is fun and I like to stay in it and doing surf trips and training and then just doing stuff with my sponsors and being really involved with them is what kind of my thing right now Beautiful. you know doing marketing with them Dude, you're 19 you're on fire right now you're good thank you you're phenomenal yeah don't um, stress hey do you want to ask her some questions oh Super oh with, with their little game yeah yeah so this is natalie's idea oh, she no. wanted to she, this is completely her <laughs> idea i don't even know what the questions are this okay. is a natalie rose pr- production okay i'm excited natalie so uh pl- play the music let's do this okay let's get into this and then faith yeah Oh, we're going. We gotta. Oh, we gotta we play it a little. Music we have to get and into everything. It. Yeah. Look at this. So, uh, what's the game? Okay, so we want to get to know you a little better. We, you're our first um, in studio guest. Since so, in this in this studio, yeah. Yeah, oh, in this cool. studio. We've been so, doing the show for over ten you years. Popped but, yeah. Our cherry. <laughs> yeah, so, you did. Yay! Popped by a <laughs> Richter <laughs> perfect ten model <laughs> surfer blonde. I love it. We have a couple few questions to ask you, but we're gonna start off easy. So first okay. off, we want to know. Would you rather ride big waves or small waves? Oh, and the name of the game is Would You Rather. Yeah. That's would oh, you Would You Rather. rather. Yeah. Oh, I'm liking it. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with big waves. Big waves. Yes. Oh, okay. But not like, monstrous. Like how big? Um, like... Uh, Ten I'll, foot? Like eight inches? I'm not to- eight inches, <laughs> you <laughs> butterhead. Okay, let's go like... Sorry, I'm dirty. Six to eight feet. Okay, that's that's not that big. Yeah, it's no. good. Or ten feet. That's like a fun, ten is like my max these days. I'm in my thirties now. Know. I, I like a fun wave. Like I don't want to be like where I can't do turns. I want to be like ripping, right? It, you know, and like having Barreling. fun on it. Yeah, like fun barrels, mm. not getting worked the whole session. Yes, that's what I hate. When it gets too big, you're just getting worked the whole time. You're like, ugh, it's not fun. This sucks. No, you. you it's hard to find that to strike that balance between. But you're right. Good size waves. Yeah. But you don't want to be like paddle battling all day. No. Or yeah. just like gain sets on the head. <laughs> yeah. You know? Screw that, dude. Like I wouldn't. Oh. I'm with no, you. You're on that. saying no, size does matter. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Who <laughs> All right. right. Next question. Would you rather go streaking naked in front of a crowd or go surfing naked in front of a crowd? Ooh, surfing naked would be more fun, I think. Great answer. Yeah, Yeah. definitely. Explain why. Because, well, first of all, that would just be awesome to be so free while you're surfing, (laughs) having no restrictions. Without what? I mean, the surf wax might be an issue. Oh, yeah, that might hurt a little bit. Oh, a little. Yeah. That would be (laughs) That wouldn't be the funnest thing, but uh, we'll deal. We'll deal with it. And, um... Yeah, 
I definitely go surfing. At least you can kind of hide some things yeah. instead of like streaking. You're just like out there. Yeah, totally. Fire the music away. Oh, okay, a whole. That on. thing's the bed's like We're two two minutes total. You gotta it's, keep. It died. There oh, you there go. There it is. Now it's alive. On. It's alive. <laughs> We're playing Would You Rather okay. with our in studio guest Bree Kleintoff here on Wax. Here's the next one. Would you rather date a really rich guy who's like a workaholic or a poi? Poor guy, excuse me, that has plenty of time for you. Poor guy, for sure. Bravo. Poor guy. That's money a, that's the East really Coast. Are you serious? Oh I my God. Money does not matter. Natalie, you would date the rich guy? Yeah. That's terrible. That's so funny. See, that's hey, the, but hey, good on you. You know. To be honest. Yeah. But that's the difference right there between East Coast and California. There you East go. Coast. I guess you could say that. Humble. You're not pretentious. You're not shallow. California, you are. Stuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I like my bling bling. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Do you have um, any more? Okay, last question. Ready? Okay. Okay. Um, would you rather dress down or dress up? Now, you can't say, like, I dress for the occasion. You know what Dang I mean? it. That is not Took good. Dang it. Okay, well, this is, like, a really hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, well, I guess I like, usually dress down, so it'd be fun to dress up and feel all special and, you know, feeling good. What would dressing up uh, be for Br- uh, Brie Kleintop? For Brie Kleintop, you know, put on a pretty dress or something with a pair of heels or... Mini dress? Mini skirt? Yeah. Are we talking down? Yeah, mini yeah skirt? we're going mini all the oh, way. Okay. I like your style. All the way. Crop top? Ooh, we could do a little crop top if we had a skirt on. I don't know. It just depends what the mood I'm in. Fair enough. What I'm feeling. But dressing up can be fun, you know, because I don't do it very often. So <laughs> yeah, do you let's party go with a lot? that. Do you go out a lot? Um, I go out every now and then, you know, because it's, it's good to have fun yes. and go with, out with friends. But not all the time because, okay. you know, I'm training and getting good amounts of sleep, eating yeah. healthy. Sleep's important. Oh, yeah. Diet's important. All that good stuff. I, I completely understand. There you go. There you go. And that's it. Would and you there rather? you have it. <laughs> just wanted to know. Well, uh, why don't we take a quick break and do some news? Bree's going to stay with us for that. We have Bree Kleintop in studio. You can follow her on Twitter and on Instagram, at Bree Kleintop. And uh, sponsored by O'Neill, sponsored by Dragon. Who else is sponsoring you? Um, Wave Ryan Vehicles. Nice. And let's see... We have Tonic Hair Care, mm. Board Sticks. Those are awesome. Okay. And um, Skull Candy Headphones. Beautiful. Yeah. It's a great lineup. It's a good lineup. Yes, I'm indeed. very, very lucky. Yeah. I'm fortunate. Very happy. Fortunate yes. indeed. We'll take, let's take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, Bree Klein Top's going to stay with us for uh, the new segment with Natalie Rose. This is Waxed. Uh, and again, if you missed uh, any of the show so far, which has been fantastic already, uh, we podcast all of our shows on our website, waxedradio.com, and follow us on Twitter at waxedradio. And we'll have the news next. This is Wax on ESPN 1700. Huh? Where's the music? Mm-hmm. Natalie, what are you doing over there? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> there you go. We'll be right back. I'm having a good time back here by myself. All right. We'll have more in just a moment. Visit our website, waxedradio.com, to get complete show podcasts. And follow us on all social media at Waxed Radio. Now, here's a recap of the Week in Surf News. Yeah, every week there's always a lot going on in surfing. And that's why Natalie Rose takes control and does the news. Bree Kleintop, professional surfer, star of the online reality show Surf House on Network A. Hello. Is in studio with us. Look at as marvelous as ever. Why, thank you. Jesus, you're hot. My you're goodness. looking good, too. Over thank there, you, ma'am. Cyrus. Thank you. For, you an old, for an old man, I try to pull it. You do. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got the news, and you're going to sit in with us and give your take as well. But Natalie, what's going on in the week in surf news? Well, do you guys like hot doggers? Hot what do you mean doggers? by that? Well, there's a dog competition this Whoa, today. Whoa, what? Yes. Yeah, a surf dog competition no in way. San Diego County at Imperial Beach. Oh now, this is the eighth annual competition, and it's expected to draw up to 40 surf dogs and 1,000 spectators. Oh now, this God. will benefit the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty <laughs> to Animals. What was that? Was that your nose? Was that, was that part of the that injury? That was. Sorry. Oh my, no, don't apologize. <laughs> I love... I, that, see, that's reality right there. That is. That's reality. That's, that's your injury right there, <laughs> that's dude. That's my injury. That's the first, first symptom we've seen. You look like perfect. Yeah. But right. occasionally you might have like the runny nose or something like that. I do. Okay, that's I do. okay. It's all you right, know, dude. The occasional snot bubble. You're a you're human being. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone can get away with it, it's you. Don't worry. You're fine. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. you actually made it 
look beautiful and sound beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Uh, so, yeah, so Imperial Beach, every year they do this. Uh, I think it's been eight years they've been doing this now, where it's just a, a competition between dogs surfing. That is so cool. The but the, there's, like, there's rules and stuff. And really? Like judging, yeah. Like, it's, like, serious. It Maybe it Indy's in studio. Where not he supposed to be down there warming up? I know. I we got to. I got to get it, Dr. Indiana Jones, our, our mascot. We'll get him out there someday. So um, but the funny thing, uh, or the, not the funny, but the great thing about this contest, though, is that it benefits the uh, prevention of cruelty to animals. Uh, the, the whole organization's awesome. name is the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And I've always said the only way to really stop dog abuse and, and animal abuse in general is to increase the punishment. Yeah. You can get away with, like, beating a dog to death and barely go to jail. I don't understand That's crazy. It. I don't understand why they're not punished, but yet... It's asinine. I, it's because like your child, you know, they're yes. a, they're your little baby. They're sadly, not, I mean, sadly, I the agree. law doesn't see it that way. The law sees animals as you know n- nothing near a human. But what they but the law doesn't realize is that if somebody is sick enough to, to abuse an animal, anything, that's that's living. a precursor for something bigger. Like those are the people that eventually go on and hurt humans that way. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. Saying? There's something messed up with you. In- incredibly messed up. You're right. Yeah. But, um, well, if you want to see this unleashed, um, this competition unleashed by Petco, it's going on today from 11 to 2. So it's going on right now until 2 o'clock. Yes. Beautiful. So, and so if you're in the car listening, go to Imperial Beach if you want to see some dog surfing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What else is going on? Well, Brie, are you a fan of the X Games? Of course. Yeah, well, it seems like a lot of people are, but nobody wants to watch it. What? Yeah, the Summer X Games have gone on, gone international, excuse me, and no one cares, despite the fact that the extreme <laughs> sport is a global phenomenon. Absolutely no one cares. So That's they crazy. took um, the headliners of like skateboard and BMX for the summer, which are American sports, and they've gone international with, as I said, with the X Games and tried to bring them to like Europe and everything, but no one is watching them. And, um, ESPN, who is like the self-proclaimed worldwide leader of sports, has had him for almost 20 years, and it's even worse than it's ever been, and they can't find a way to like wow. brand X Games. Well, what happened is, in a nutshell, the X Games expanded from just having one summer game and one winter game to having like a series of them. Like, there's, oh. there's like five summer X Games now. There's like one in, in Brazil. I think there's one coming up in, in Munich, Germany. They have wow. one in Barcelona. And then... So yeah, so when you have an expansion like that, it kind of it might not pick up right away. Yeah, all the attention isn't on just one. Exactly, it's suddenly it's become like a series. Out. But there yeah. is no like overall winner. It's just every event has its own winner. Yeah, I don't like that. I agree. I don't I, like that. And then one thing I I haven't liked for a long time is that the Summer X Games has been in L.A. for like ten years. Mm-hmm. They used to. I don't know if you're old enough to remember this. They used to uh, go city to city every two years. Like the very yeah. the very first X Games were in Rhode Island. I don't think anyone anyone knows that. Wow. Then it went. Then it, they had one like in San Francisco for two years. They had Philadelphia for two years. Then they went to L.A. and then just stopped moving. And they just stayed there. Yeah, they just stayed there. So instead of having all these different cities get into it and yeah. you're expanding the popularity of it nationwide and worldwide, you just kept it strictly to Southern California, almost like rubbing your nose to everyone else. I, kind don't, of, I don't think that's very not cool, cool, you know, because cool. look at Super Bowl. They're always changing the location. Exactly. Olympics. They're always, I mean, exactly. that's the cool thing about it. You're well, always in a different location. The sad thing, I totally agree with you, but the sad thing, it doesn't matter where it's held. They have, have like having the worst ratings. Mm-hmm. Well, so. maybe it's, maybe it's because of that. Maybe it's because they've just gone complacent. But the cool thing is, they're going to start. They this is the last year it's going to be in L.A. How about they oh, put it in San Diego? So then they're going to start. They're, they're going to start going back to it again. That's yeah. good. That's San Diego good. would be awesome at some point, but they should get it somewhere new, like yeah, out of, the of Midwest. California. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just mix it up a little bit. But definitely. Us. So no one is watching the X Games. The ratings are hurting, huh? Do you guys wow. have any ideas? Besides, maybe I, I, my, my personal opinion has always been like maybe what, we should get cheerleaders like you know like football and stuff and they can make it all crazy and get music and sound oh god I don't know I don't that. know about that either I don't know about that <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> hey, football is selling like crazy so they got to figure something out. now my my personal opinion is that with with uh, skateboarding and snowboarding in a lot of ways it's peaked it's like. How many yeah. more tricks can you come up with? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know. I mean, at a, at, at a certain point, you can't. There's only so many rotations you can get in, in an aerial. Skateboarding, I think, has a little more room where you can always yeah. come up with new stuff and it could be innovative. I don't know. But both are just so insane to me. Like they are. I just, you know, I watch all snowboarding and skateboarding stuff, and I'm just like, whoa! Always in amazement of what these guys are doing. It's absolutely insane. So it's shocking to me that the X Games aren't doing that well. Well, right you know now. what I've, you know what I've always wanted and it always disappoints me in pretty much all action sports 
is is that there's not enough like rivalry. Yeah. Like in surfing, for example, like with the ASP World Tour, we'll give that we'll put that as as under the microscope. You have thirty four surfers. They're right. all friends. Oh yeah. Like Kelly and Andy was like the last time we had a legitimate Man on man, like rivalry. Yeah, like two guys who didn't hate each other. I mean, they, they respected each other exactly, but they wanted but to beat each other. They you wanted know? to, yeah. And since and Completely. we haven't had that in years, you don't have that at all in skateboarding. You don't have that at all in BMX. You don't have that at all in snowboarding. And it's boring. After all, I mean, we just it's, you just it have is. friends out there doing it, and, and at the end, they're all like hugging and like, let's go party together now. Yeah, do, I agree. Do, do, do actually, like, get into it with each other. You know, start yeah, fighting. I completely agree. I think in surfing. There's definitely a little bit more there is. competition and you know nastiness that goes on, but um, like what? Like do you see it firsthand? I mean, I don't exactly see it firsthand, uh-huh. but you you've hear heard about it. Yeah, you hear, and I mean, just watching, you can see these guys. You know, even if they're friends when they're out in the water, they're really competitive, right? You know, but um, Eric, my boyfriend, is a really good skateboarder, so I always watch the skate videos with him and everything, and. We've always said how skateboarding, like, all the guys, you know, one guy will do something insane, and the other guy who's obviously his competition is, like, slapping him on the back, like, what guy? That was insane, like, so sick, like, really stoked for him, and surfing, that would never happen. But it's kind of cool, you know, that they do that, that they don't have that rivalry and that kind of cattiness towards each other, that they're psyched for one another. Right. So, I do like that about the other sports. Like, I wish surfing had that. I wish... You know, oh, I totally when agree. one guy lands right off with the other guy's like losing it, like so happy for him, you yeah. know, but that doesn't happen. I mean, I don't know if we need like a Sonny Garcia level of aggression. Yeah. I mean, Sonny, Sonny Garcia would like look at you like, I'm going to murder you <laughs> unless you get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. And it's true. I have very close friends who used to be, who used to compete, who have competed against him where he will be, he has been in the lineup with him saying, you are in deep S bomb if you don't like give me this wave or if you actually try to like be me. And, then, and what is the surfer going to do? On one hand, he's thinking, I'm not going to get bullied. On the other hand, he's thinking, this guy probably has cut someone else's throat in his day. I don't want to get shipped. I wouldn't mess with Sonny Garcia. No. I wouldn't mess with any Hawaiian. He's part of that, yeah, dude, he's part of that crazy Hawaiian mafia. I like the the, Ro- the the Rothman Ho. Like, yeah. all those guys, dude, scare me, dude. Like, I would not want to ever mess with any of those guys. But, but, but that's not, you don't see that on the actual tour, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but whatever. But, so we're sharing ideas about the X Games, but yeah, and... and to, in a nutshell, this the X Games are struggling with the ratings, and it's coming up again. The next edition of the Summer X Games are in Barcelona, and then in, in a month or month and a half, the Summer X Games will be in L.A. But, uh, yeah, so ratings suck. Who knows why? What else is going on in the news, Natalie? Okay, well, while shooting a truck commercial for a Dodge Ram, a Dodge truck got stuck in the water off a Moonstone Beach overnight. Now, officials said that there was no fuel leaks, but um, and it wasn't really like that big of a deal. It was just set in a like a real high profile location. So I read the article, but then I went and looked at pictures. And people need to go online and look at this because seriously, the truck is like fully in water. And I go down to Mexico and I see trucks get stuck in the sand all the time. But this is like like behind a cliff and everything. Like I don't even know how. Like how do, how would they tow it out? Basically. Yeah, I don't even know how they got it down there. Well, so so. Have, Bree, and we have Bree Kleintop joining us in the studio right now. Have you ever been to Humboldt? Have you ever gone that far up California? No, I haven't. So I lived up there for two years. I've actually surfed like, where this is, Moonstone. And it's frigid cold. Sometimes there's good waves. Yeah. But I can, it's it's really desolate. So you're, so you're right, Natalie. Like to have a truck down on that beach is so random. And they were doing like a, a TV commercial for that. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And they had like. Later on, they showed it, like, completely underwater, and, like, the truck, the roof <laughs> oh is, like, up, gosh. and there's, like, a surfer with a surfboard, and he's standing on it. And I just, like, but it's, like, surrounded by cliffs. It's not like he was out in the desert or, like, down in Mexico, and they were doing, like, you know, like, tail slides and 360s, and all of a sudden, they went in the water and got quicksands, like, sunk. You know what I mean? It's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's, like in rocks. Like it's, <laughs> it's not, like, cobblestone rocks, like, full-on rocks. That's so funny. What else is going on in the news? It's crazy to see how it got stuck back there. But, um, okay, so a barnacle-covered bow uh, with Japan lettering spent 758 days at sea before drifting to Northern California. So nearly three weeks after the 20-foot boat washed ashore Crescent City, about 20 miles south of Oregon's border. It's actually really close to Moonstone where this other story was. Yeah, it actually is. I was looking it up on a map. And... um, but the officials determined that it was from the 2011 tsunami. Oh. And so they said this is one of the um, first com- uh, confirmed debris that have reached California's, California excuse me, coast. But it's crazy because I also looked this up online, 
And you could tell that the boat was like capsized the whole time because the whole like top of it, you know what I mean? Was, it was barnacle covered? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's like fully, car- it's, yeah. Well, you know what's scary about all that is that if covered. debris getting over here all the way from, from Japan, off that 2011 debacle, the earthquake, the nuclear reactor, you know, the tsunami, Fukushima, uh, how much radiation got here? Ugh. I, that's what that's what freaks me it out because freaks me out too because I've read stories about how the how kelp beds will absorb like you know yeah. radiation and it'll just sit there like like I mean be... where is it going yeah. exactly where is it going it's not just floating away no. into the atmosphere the space there's nowhere to float away to except for our land and so when we're surfing here how much of that is like are we getting exposed to you freaks know? me out it's well, scary. it's crazy it's very because scary. like I work at the beach and it's crazy to see what washes up like. There was, like, one time I was working on the beach, and all these dollar bills were washing up on Whoa, shore. Whoa. That's you know what I mean? Good and thing like, to wash I know, up. I know. Like, the best thing <laughs> yeah. ever. Other than hundreds. Hundreds would be amazing. But, no, like, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Like, one time I was in Newport, and a couch <laughs> washed up on shore. So <laughs> What? It, it's crazy to think, that is crazy. like, what comes, yeah. you know, what's in the ocean. Like, you don't think there's not anything, because, like, you're right there on shore, but, like, way out there. And, Natalie, you work at the beach as a lifeguard, right? Uh, yeah, I do, but we're going to keep that on the DL. Oh, well, <laughs> it's already out there. <laughs> Too late, girlfriend. It's no secret. It's all right. It's all good. You're a responsible job. You're, you're a professional. Uh, I try to I be. trust you to save my life. There you go. I would save your life. Thank you. If Bree Klein Tops, lot. if your nose got busted in front of Natalie, she would have taken care of you. Yeah, she I would have. I know she would have. She would have had me all gossed up and everything. She would have <laughs> given you CPR. W- would you have, Natalie? Would you totally. have given me CPR if I was dying a little from t- taking yeah, my nose? Mouth to mouth. A little tongue, <laughs> little tongue mixed in. <laughs> oh erotic gosh. CPR. Kind of like You're uh, bad. Yeah, Sam yes. Lott. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a good <laughs> I'm here. It's a good movie reference. Right. Yeah, that's okay. a good one. Um, do you think we have time for yeah, one more? Yeah, let's do one more before we wrap it up. Uh, okay. Bree, Klein, Bree Kleintop joining us in the studio. O'Neill team writer. Uh, follow her on Twitter and Instagram at her name, uh, Brie Kleintop. Let's do one more, one more news story. Okay, well, um, a South African surfer, he fell overboard. Okay, oh. so he was on the surf trip. His name is Brett Archibald. He's 50 years old, and he went on the surf trip with a bunch of his old school friends, and they were going to have a good time, go fishing and surfing and hang out. And uh, he felt he was getting seasick. So he, I guess he was leaning over the side and he fell overboard. And <laughs> all of a sudden everyone's like, you know, where's Brett? Where's Brett? And they couldn't find him. So he was actually found alive 27 hours after going I missing. I heard about this. I did too. This was like a month so, or two ago. Yeah, it's a little bit older story, but it's crazy. So It is crazy. I was, yeah, it's as crazy as it gets. That's it, insane. It, I mean, if you're if you're overboard in the middle of the ocean, you're starting to like, you know, say your last prayers. I yeah, mean, you're like, you're no like one's going to come for me. I mean, for that long too, that's not a short that's enough That's heavy. Time. Did you read the whole story though, Natalie? Yeah, and I actually looked up pictures and this guy doesn't have like a full set of hair. He's <laughs> You know, so he was like sunburned. He's, huh? Yeah, they're like he's dehydrated oh and sunburned. And then I looked at the picture and I was like, oh, oh my gosh! Like he's probably was dying at the uh, end of the day. Like well, you know what's gotta hurt. You know oh. what's, what's funny about the story is that he apparently like he was optimistic and positive the whole time. Really? From what I read, apparently when he he went overboard. And when he realized what had happened and the, the boat's gone and he's just out here by himself in the yeah. middle of the ocean, he just floated on his back and just took naps and just wow. flexed. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's crazy amazing. That crazy, right? That is amazing. But yeah. you know what? Thank the Lord that he's all right. Yes. And safe. He, that's definitely a blessing. It's amazing. I mean, how him. waterlogged do you think he is? Oh, I can't I'd even have imagine. To, like, dry out for that's a my worst days. nightmare. It's that a, is. That is literally the definition of a miracle, to have someone find you in the oh, middle yeah. of the ocean if you go overboard. Someone's definitely watching out yeah. over you. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm surprised they didn't hear him, like, when he fell over, like, Well, it was, like, you, I, it was you know? stormy, and I think it was, it was at night. Yeah. I think that's why they didn't hear it. They probably just didn't realize what had happened. And yeah. then all of a sudden, you're looking around, like, where's my buddy? And, he's and at that point, there. Yeah, at that point, it's like, dude, done. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's insane. That freaks me out. Natalie, like, can we do one more story? Yeah, sure. Hold on. I actually put it away because I thought... That was our last one. So I know, but screw give it. Give me a second. We're already going really long. Might as well do one more. Let's okay. Let's talk about cleaning beaches up. Okay. Want to go to Cal's Beach in Santa Cruz? Have you ever have you ever surfed uh, Santa Cruz, Bree? I haven't, but I would love to. World class. I know. It, it's some of the best waves in the world. That's in Santa Cruz. one place that I really, really would love to go to. It looks amazing. And Natalie, you mentioned Cal's. Cal's is like one of the best beginner surf spots in the world. Yeah. The slowest waves you'll ever really? surf. Really. Dude, it's insane, dude. Like, you can just sit there and take 10 seconds to pop up on your board. 
<laughs> and the wave hasn't even broken yet. Oh my god! I mean, gosh. it's a lot, like, dude, you can have a recliner on a surfboard out there. And just that is awesome. Insane. It's it's an amazing. Sounds wave. like fun. It, yeah, it is fun. Yeah, Sounds for like longboard. Fun. Yeah. So what, what's up with Cal's? Well, like you said, it's like a super huge um, place for people to go surf. It's like a tourist attraction by many. A lot of people love to go there in the summer. And for years, Santa Cruz has claimed that Cal's surfing beach has been polluted because of kelp and birds. So they're just like, oh, this is you know. A natural thing. That's why it smells and it's weird. Don't worry about it. Well, the city of Santa Cruz found out that um, in night that might not be the cause anymore. In fact, they think it might. Uh, they might have found out that a few other problems are causing the pollution, such as a leak in a sewer main, hmm. draft from operations, human waste, storm drains, and even a bathroom with faults problems Ugh. like. So in there. essence, there's human feces just floating Gosh. around at Cal's. Yeah. That's so I wrong. mean, they said it's for like it's one of the worst polluted beaches in the state of California, but they didn't think that it was because of like human feces. They thought for sure it was like <laughs> that's so disgusting. That's just so. I mean, up. even though it took a long time, you know, better late than never. What's messed up about Cal's too is that there's rocks all along. So Cal's is just uh, east because it's a south facing beach, so it's just east of Steamers Lane. Oh, okay. And what they were discovering over the last year or so in these rocks is you have all these heroin users mm-hmm. who climb down to the beach and they're hidden when they do that because there's all these big old rocks protruding and so there's almost like these little caves. I see. And every day people go out there for beach cleanups and they find needles. Oh, oh my god! And this is this is an epidemic in Santa Cruz. It's, it's been known as a meth town for a long time and, and the drug use yeah, has gotten even worse. That. It's messed up, dude. So this this that whole scene... From from look, if you're standing on top of those cliffs, or if you go down and surf and just don't bother looking around that closely, it's beautiful. Right. And the waves are great, but the second you start digging, oh, dude, there's it's issues. It's just messed up. It is super messed up. Yeah. That's sad. That's sad. Yeah. yeah. But uh, hopefully they'll clean that up soon. At least, at the very least, fix the sewer problem. I mean, yeah, for crying I mean, out loud, at dude. At the very least, like if you already have those issues, like <laughs> come on, <laughs> don't add to them with human feces. Oh man, <laughs> that is wrong. Well, Natalie, thank you very much for a great new segment. Yeah, uh, thank you. Great client talk. Thank you for joining us in the studio today. Oh, I'm so glad and to your be input. here. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me dude, here, you guys. Th- pleasure's all ours. And uh, you came all the way down from San Clemente. You're starring in the reality web show uh, Surf House. You can find that on uh, YouTube on Network A is the channel yep. where you can find Surf House. And plug away. Who's paying all your bills? You have anything to promote? Go for it. Um, I would just like to thank O'Neill Girls. Um, they're my main sponsor, and they are absolutely incredible i love them to death and um i'm really excited i was just announced as the face of o'neill girls for 2014 so congratulations exciting stuff so be sure to um check that out next year Um, wow what does that mean does that mean you're just going to be in bikinis all over the place i'm just i'm doing their campaigns now so i'm all the is it modeling is it appearances is it like you name it all Everything, yeah. Does so, this mean more bucks for you? Um, hope. I hope, yeah. I, I hope, hope so, too. So. <laughs> but I don't even care about that. I'm just so, so happy to be a part of such an amazing company. So Yeah, they do produce, like, the best wetsuits. I love them. Their wetsuits, wetsuits are yeah, amazing. Are. Their clothes. Yes. I actually got the chance to um, have a sneak peek of the spring 2014 line the other day. And, girls, let me tell you the bikinis that are coming out mm. are ridiculous you will be so happy in the clothes everything looks amazing so super stoked to be a part of that and thank you to them and then yeah. um dragon i wear i've been doing a lot with them lately and the miss mansfield search has been going on and so girls if you want to enter that just tag your photos on instagram um miss mansfield search and you might be picked to join a day with me surfing and having fun and then do a photo shoot with me for Surfing Mag with Dragon. And this so, is for women only? This is for women only. Natalie, get Sorry, into this. Sorry, guys. Hey. But Natalie, yes, please join. That would be awesome. So that's really exciting. Um, and then <laughs> I have a couple of other things coming up that I'm super stoked on and you'll just have to wait and see. So this is an exciting year for me. Yeah. And um, It's I'm the beginning. Just, I'm just really grateful. And so, yeah, and thank you to all my sponsors. Board Sticks, you guys are incredible. And people, if you want to do artwork on your boards, Board Sticks are amazing. They're so easy to use, so go grab some from your local surf shop. 
And um, tonic hair care keeps my hair healthy and long. There you go. <laughs> it is gorgeous. And um, yes. I get the best boards from when you're riding vehicles. So anyone, if you want a good board, WRV has them. Great shapers. And um, so thank you to you guys for always keeping me equipped with my boards. Beautiful. And um, yeah, so I'm and just, don't forget skull candy. Oh, skull candy! Yeah. Music is really important to me. Oh yes. So I have the best headphones, luckily. And um, yeah, so thank you to all you guys, and thank you to everyone who listened to me today. Yeah. I hope you didn't get too bored. No, no, <laughs> no, no. And um, stay tuned for a new episode of Surf House on Monday. Beautiful. It should be exciting stuff. Should be, I believe, th- if you're. You're guessing three more episodes. Three more episodes, and they should all be really entertaining, so Love check it. them out. Beautiful. And, and yeah. again, the, and it's on the YouTube channel Network A if you want to find it, and the show is called Surf House. Um, yeah, and hopefully we're going to get Mitch Cruz on the show in the next month or so. Yeah, you I guys get, I would get his have fun with him, too. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. want to get his side of it. Definitely. Was, are, was him and uh, and uh, Jesus, Mitch, Mitch Murphy, Michael, and Michael Murphy? Michael Dumphy. Mitch and Michael Dumphy. Yeah. Jesus, what's wrong with me? It's a tongue twister. It is a little bit. Uh, do, are they gentlemen? Like, do they do they hate on you guys at all? Oh, not me. Like, I was just why? Fr- well, I was just friends with them. Like, be you know, of, so what? Yeah, but that's just. I mean, guys and girls can't really be friends. I mean, if you, but it, you can. can. No, can. it's not true. Can. Have you seen the movie Harry Met Sally? No, no. Neither have you seen it. There's there's a scene in there where Billy Crystal, and it's a classic all time movie scene. Cyrus, Where he you explains, need to learn to put the snake in the cage. I don't even know what side. you do. Yeah, you need to learn. Natalie's on a good track. <laughs> if, if you want to, if you want to live in fantasy land and think that's possible, that's great. But the reality of the situation is, there's no such thing as a strictly platonic male female relationship, unless. Unless the woman is not that attractive. Wait, I know this movie, Harry Meets Sally. This is what the whole movie's about. Yes. Oh my gosh, I watched this the other day. Yeah, and it's true. No, that scene but in there is he true. He said that you guys could be friends if depending on the situation. Yes, yes. And the, and the one and the, the one depending that he referred to is if the guy is not attracted to the to the girl. There's I don't n- believe that. I, it's true. I think that there could be other things because as the as the resident guy here, I will say that is absolutely true. We are well, built. I don't know. We're, there is a part of, of human instinct that is very primal. And majority rules, two against one. Oh, that's, that's fine. I don't think she said it. I don't think this is up for. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try to, uh, you know, pretend I can read what you're thinking in your minds. <laughs> and certainly in this case, I hope you don't try to think you know what we're reading in our minds. Because the truth is, if you're hot, we're going to want you. We might pretend. We we might subdue the urges for the most part and try to be, you know, keep it keep it good, yeah. keep it clean, and keep the friendship going. But if you were, let's say, you have a guy friend, and I'm talking to both of you. If you have a guy friend and you threw it out there, you're like, I just want you right now, he would not say no. Not in a second. And that's where that's what I'm trying to say. Is like Crazy. The, the male female dynamic, unless you're not attractive, unless there is nothing there for him that is interesting sexually, mm-hmm. dude, in a second he would pounce on you. He is there for, for alternative reasons. I don't know. I like to think that I have guy friends. If you want to live in fantasy, that's fine. If you want to live in that fantasy, if you well, live in that fantasy world, if you want to live in that fantasy world, I have a boyfriend, so they all know that. Matter, so yes. maybe they truly are just my friends. Yeah. You know, <laughs> or maybe they're just like they have fingers crossed and they're hoping. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's horrible. All right, let's wrap the show up. I know I'm totally so <laughs> negative. <laughs> so not it's so not the nice way of looking at things, but it's true. Um, but dude, listen, Bree, you're, you're you're an absolute doll. Thank you Thank so much you for coming so in. Much. Your boyfriend, Eric Geiselman, is an incredibly lucky guy, by the way. Thank you. And uh, he better know what he has. Um, what, what are we doing here, Natalie? What are you doing? I got excited. You're, I got you're, really really excited. You're butchering. Exactly. You're, you're gonna have to start playing all that stuff from the actual next gen board if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there. I know what you're talking but, uh, about. But and again, you, if you watch Surf House on Network A, Bree Klein top one of the stars of that show. Hopefully, we'll see more of your surfing too. I hope so. I want to see you rip, dude. I know you can. Well, let's wanna, go surf one day. Uh, you name name let's the day. Let's do it. We, we have each other's numbers now. Let's go out there. Let's go out there. Um, and uh, and you're also O'Neill, of course. You mentioned yes. all the stuff going on O'Neill's with O'Neill's amazing. And Dragon and, and Board Sticks and Skull Candy. That's a great lineup of sponsors it's you a have gr- there. I'm so lucky, honestly. Yeah. I could not be any happier. My sponsors are absolutely amazing to me, especially <laughs> O'Neill Girls. You guys freaking rock. Beautiful. Love you guys. And Brie Kleintop, thank you for joining us in the studio. Natalie Rose, great job with the news. And uh, I'm going to wait to say great job running the show because I'm still hearing the same music. 
You're just, you're just, I, do you know what's funny? We can't see her back there right now. I, I know. She's scrambling. She's hiding out. Try, it's not <laughs> she is in like major panic mode right now. Well, first of all, whatever is playing that music in my ear right now, just shut it off. Just no, press the stop button. You do, picked it. I know, but it, it's supposed to run during the news. The news ended like five minutes ago. Uh, okay. We're supposed to be playing the closed music right now. Now press the button that says closed music and start playing that off. Uh, okay. I know you can do it. <laughs> now you're playing no, commercials. Now it's playing commercials. You know that screen that has all the big buttons on it? Yeah. Play it off that. Okay. And pod down the, the the two ones that have the commercials. Just pod it down. Okay. The one that says spa one, spa two, just pod, just pod those down. Okay. All the way. Okay. I still hear music. I know. It's not working. There we go. Yay. That's not, Yay. The, that's not the closed music, hey, though. like cows, better late than never. That's it not the closed wor- music, but though. But it works. No, it doesn't. Just play the one that says closed music. I like this. I <laughs> think it works. <laughs> High five, today. Natalie. Little Hendrix. <laughs> you can't. That's true, dude. Hendrix is always hey, a solid choice. Hey, you can never go wrong. You're absolutely right. You can never go wrong. You're absolutely right. Dude, the left-handed genius himself. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's talk, talk about tragedies. Him leaving the world early. I mean, did, did you hear, by the way, where I know we're going off topic, Jimi Hendrix had a whole album produced that was just released like two months ago. I know. Isn't that crazy? It's and insane. It, and it rocks, dude. Oh, yeah. of course it does. It's Jimi Hendrix. That's such good stuff. Oh, well, I love music. Well, anyways. Uh, wait, wait, Cyrus. I found what you wanted. Ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is what you want. Well, now we're done. Thanks yeah, for playing that's that. that's why we're closing. <laughs> now, play the, now play the close sound or we're out of here. Uh, we'll be back, uh, <laughs> and we'll be back next week again. This is our new time, 11 a.m. to noon. Uh, and next week, we're hoping to have Rob Machado in, on the show. He's, he's got a surfer van he does every year at Moonstone Beach. Um, and, again, he's a legend in these areas, so hopefully he'll be yeah, on the show. Yeah, that'll be fun. It will, yeah, he's yeah. a good dude. And if you missed any of this entire show with Bree Kleintop in studio, visit our website, waxedradio.com. That's waxedradio.com. We podcast every segment of every show. We also have an amazingly hot gallery of you on our uh, special gallery well, page. thank you. Oh, dude. I appreciate it. The pleasure's all ours, dude. You, you. Dude, you're ridiculously hot. You're, thank, thank you, you so for joining much. us. Thank you so much. I am so glad to be here. Yeah. I had a blast. Like, it, it was, was a, really fun. It yeah, was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to have you in the studio. I know. So. I hope you all out there enjoyed it. And follow Bree on Twitter and Instagram. I follow by uh, her handle is her name, Bree Kleintop. Follow us on Twitter at Wax Radio. And uh, we'll be back next week. This is Waxed on ESPN 1700. That is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. Uh, I can't do it. No. We'll do it live. <laughs> do it live. And thing sucks.